there's some great news you need to hear right now. You have been set free. I'm Ingrid Carlson. This is Kara Tootie, and I am so happy that you are here with me on day, I think it's 17, I'm not even sure anymore, of our December daily affirmations that God has given us to store in our hearts and say daily because they are truth. Let's go ahead and get started with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all of your blessings. We thank you for all of your goodness, all of the good and the bad and how that we can learn and grow closer to you through it all. We thank you so much for all the prayers that you answer, Lord, because you are mighty. You're worthy of praise. You're worthy of awe. And we just are your humble servants in just amazement of your glory and your wonderfulness. And we just pray that you never turn your face from us, that we are always in your favor. Lord, I thank you so much for everyone that is here tonight, that you have handpicked them and that this is a message for them to hear specifically. I thank you for them so much for their friendship and for them just being here and giving their life to you because we are eternally bonded now as brothers and sisters. Lord, I pray over every person that is here tonight and I pray that you just cover them in the blood of Jesus and that you keep them protected, allow no evil to go anywhere near them. Lord, whatever their prayers are, I pray that you listen to them and that you show up in a big way, Lord, that they feel your presence every time that they take a breath, that they know it is from you. Every morsel of food, it's from you. And we thank you for all of this and especially for the gift of your son, Jesus. Amen. Today's news is so good and You've probably heard it before, but you needed a reminder tonight, and that is that you are free. Our verse today is John 8, 36. It says, so if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. Short to the point and 100% true. Jesus promises true freedom without qualification or compromise to all of those that he liberates. When he's saying indeed, he emphasizes that it's a genuine, complete, permanent nature of his emancipation. He gives us freedom from slavery to sin, free from condemnation, from shame, from deceit, free from the confines of human regulations about God. He alone, only he, provides freedom that no earthly power, did you guys hear that? No earthly power can revoke. As Jesus was up on the cross and paid all of our sins penalty for us and then rose again in power, defeating death itself, this freedom overflows in life liberated to love others, pursue God's purposes, enjoy an intimate relationship with Christ, and walk by the Spirit every day. We are truly free to become who God created us to be. Unencumbered of past wounds or current accusers, what a precious, amazing, life-giving gift Jesus alone can give you. And if you haven't accepted it today, I pray that you will seek to accept it. And if you need prayers, then just send me a message or put a comment down below. I know lots of people would love to pray for you. And with that, I will say I love you guys. I thank you so much for being here today and for being through this whole thing. We're about more than halfway through now. I'm so excited. And I think we're going to definitely have to do more of these. So I'll go ahead and uh, finish off here and let you enjoy the rest of the page. And I will see you again tomorrow. Love you. Bye.